Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region, living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, all's right with the world. It's Christmas. My dad and sister came to Mass tonight, and I said to them, thanks for coming, and the first thing out of my sister's mouth was, What's wrong with your hair? <laughs> it's only 14-hour hair gel. It's been a long day. I want to challenge us with a question. What can hold God? What can hold God? Interesting question. It's actually a trick question. What can hold our God? Sometime about 15 to 20 billion years ago, God's love could no longer be contained in our God. And God's love burst forth with tremendous power and created the universe. And scientists tell us that that universe is continually expanding. Continually, continually expanding. There's no way for us to know for sure how big that universe is. But they tell us we have seen light from things that are 15 trillion light years away. A light year is the distance light would travel in a year. And we have seen things that are 15 times that distance. God's love continually expanding our universe. This is so big and so hard for us to comprehend. Let's bring it down a little bit and just think about our own universe, our own solar system, the Milky Way. It's only 100,000 light years in diameter. And our sun is 26,000 light years from its center. It takes our sun 250 million years to revolve around the center of our galaxy. God's love brought all of this into being. What could possibly hold God's love? 
Friends, as a people of faith, we are gathered here because we believe that that love that the universe cannot contain has come and been embodied in a single human being. That power, that love, has chosen to become one of us. Billions of light years of expanding universe cannot contain the love of our God, and Jesus Christ comes with us, for us, to be with us in our world, in our time. What can hold God, God's love? What can hold our God? That same love became one of us so that we could become what that love is, who that love is. The uncontainable love has come and been contained in a human being. That's the mystery of the Incarnation. Do you believe that? Can any of us really believe that that unharnessable love is in each and every one of us? Well, that's great, but my life is very stressful. I have family coming over. I have children to contend with. I have relationships that are really difficult for me. I'm sick. My body is giving out. Great. God came. Big deal. Love in Jesus. Great. How does that apply to us? I think the challenge for us this Christmas is trust. Trusting that the God who created the universe with the black holes and the asteroids and the big scale is just as concerned about the small scale, is just as concerned about you and me. Trusting that we each have that love inside of us, drawing us closer in relationship to God, drawing us closer in relationship to each other, Sometimes it's easy for us to see God in the grand scale. It's easy for us to see God in the universe or in a sunset. And it's so hard for us to see the real God in the everyday moments of our lives. Can you and I believe that the God who is enfleshed in Jesus Christ is the same love that exists in our joys and in our sorrows? Can you believe that that same love exists in our challenges, in our hurts, in our fears, in our uncertainties, as we go through the asteroid fields of our lives, do you believe that the power of God's love is with you, in you, and for you? What can hold our God? Who? can hold our God. Jesus Christ came into our world 2,000 years ago, and Jesus Christ comes into our world every day. Every day that you and I are living, we have the opportunity to meet our Lord, our Savior, the gift of creation, the gift of the Incarnation, What can hold our God? As Christians, as Catholics, believe it or not, we hold our God. We gather to celebrate the Eucharist, that same love harnessed, and we receive it into our hands. We take that same love into our bodies. We eat God. What can hold God? Mary held God. Joseph held God. You and I can hold our God, and we can become our God. St. Augustine says that Jesus, God, became man so that man might become God. Do you really believe in Christmas? Do you really believe that our God loved us enough to take on this body? 
this smelly, decaying, beautiful, holy body. What can hold God? You can hold God. <clears throat>